New tonight, our Wendy Lane spoke to one of those heroes who helped. We're all companies operating at number one and number two World Trade Center at the fifth alarm. Do not use the elevators. They're about to come down. Even after 17 years, FDNY dispatcher John Lightsey has one emotion while listening to himself that day. Nervous. Yeah. Banana Battalion 32. Banana Engine 201. Banana Ladder 113. When the towers came down, it was dead silence. And that was an eerie feeling not to hear anybody talk. Lightsey was one of the only radio dispatchers coordinating fire trucks to World Trade Centers 1 and 2 after planes hit them. All off-duty firefighters and all off-duty officers were hereby ordered for recall immediately. Though awarded for his work that helped save countless lives, he still lives with a lot of pain. Getting close to the anniversary, I can remember voices on the radio or People crying for help, and I still hear them. Next to New York, Florida has the second highest number of 9-11 survivors dealing with long-term health issues. I have um, GERD, acid reflux, I have lung problems, PTSD, and there's more problems that keep arising. World Trade Center Health Program is a resource helping thousands of people like Lightsey get the help they need. Because you know everybody, one way or the other has been through this, so you can always talk to somebody if you need to. In Spring Hill, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.